Girl is going viral after a man sent her $15 for lunch, but she thought it wasn't enough and sent it back. Can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Y'all heard it. See, her post said, this boy said lunch is on him today and asked for what I wanted. I said a salad and get a Zelle text for $15. I sent it right back because uh, $15 is crazy, baby. You can keep that. Bruh. And brother, you take that $15 and you put use that on yourself and take this as a sign that you do not need to mess with this chick. Real talk. $15 is more than enough from a salad. Hell, she could have got a salad from Wendy's for all I care. Really? What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Ron, back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and jump into the next video. So the more and more I think about this, the more flabbergasted I get. When did we as a society make it okay for men to feel so comfortable asking certain questions, expecting certain things um, before you even know them? Like I'm talking about, I was going to meet this guy and he's asking me to spend the night. I don't even know you. We've never even barely talked like on FaceTime nothing. I'm trying to say, and she's like, it makes me so upset because, like, I'm glad that you asked, like, yay for consent, we love it. But the fact that that was even on the table in your mind, like, the fact that that is really all y'all care about, that is your guys' mindset, it really makes me sad. Like, oh, like, what? Like, imagine, like, 50 years ago, if that, this was a thing that was, like, so normalized, like, people would be, like, thinking, Yeah, to answer your question, men started getting comfortable asking those kind of questions when women started being comfortable demanding shit like this. Two hundred dollar days. I'm gonna story. Okay, it's really the bare minimum. Small credit needs broke me and these cheap things that ain't gonna keep me yet. Try to convince you to settle for less. Okay, two hundred dollars is nothing. It's like a cup meal in the appetizer. Okay, fellas, if you can afford to spend over two hundred dollars on a date, you need to be clocked in. Okay, you don't need to be dating. You need to be on a job. Okay, and like, please, it takes so much money and effort for us to be a dog that we go out. Ain't nobody even dressed up to go to Applebee's. Okay, keep your standards where they belong. Okay, and stop letting these losers convince you. Wait a minute, what the hell? Yeah, who do you think is more likely to be single? The women that are demanding that or the quote unquote pick me's that are um quote unquote settling for less? Two hundred dollar day. You know what I can get for you know what else I can get for two hundred dollars? Remember the clip before that I just showed y'all of that girl being mad that a brother was basically asking to clap them cheats on the first date. Yeah, for two hundred dollars, and in some cases less than that, a man can clap a woman's cheeks. So why in the hell am I gonna spend that much money just on a date, where you probably already screwing somebody else anyway that probably ain't spent a dime on you, but you expect me to spend two hundred dollars on the date? Huh? Nah. No, ain't going for it. Let's keep it moving. I don't understand what these boys don't understand. 50 50 is for broke boys. It will make you less of a man if you're making your woman split the bill. What kind of man would you be if you have her even working a job? Your girl should not be working. She should not be working at all. Her money is her money. My money is our money. I'm going to say it again. Her money is her money. We don't touch that. But my money, that's our money. We spend that together. You 
50 50 men will never get the respect i get ever ever if you're a 50 50 man you will never get the respect a 100 percent man gets period you don't understand this i won't once you get this you will see where i'm coming from <laughs> <laughs> see ladies i want y'all to pay attention to that that last clip so closely because it just goes to show you man men that are over here agreeing with y'all on this shit they 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 just doing it because they profited off of it or they're pandering because they want to sleep with you that brother he couldn't last the whole video video without crack without cracking up laughing bro you knew that was cap he had me for a minute because i was i've reacted him to before so i was kind of shocked for a minute but yeah you got me there bro but then i'm like man i'm like now just imagine me doing the same thing y'all yeah i probably react the same way myself let's keep it moving copyright y'all copyright Ladies, it's 2024. You should dump him if he's poor. If he goes 50-50 and he doesn't feel too gifty, walk away from him in silence. Get a guy that's into finance. Ladies, the more expensive you look and the more expensive you sound, the smaller your dating pool is going to be. Because a lot of men will have a hard time committing to you because your presence makes them feel insecure. Here we go again with these euphemisms. Like, remember, intimidating? He must be intimidated by my strongness. What she's saying is everyone has costs to their lives, and men traditionally bear the costs for both partners, even though women want to get paid the same, even if they're not doing the same work. So the more it costs to keep you around, the more men will be insecure around you. I would like to use a different word. I'm going to go with disgusted. Here's why. She compares women to cars. Some women are Bugattis. They're expensive, so people walk out of the dealership. She then says, don't be a Toyota or even a Benz. Just wait for the right customer. Now, money does matter. You have to have enough to cover the costs. And it's okay to have standards as long as they're reasonable. But when do you have money is the basis of the relationship, well, what happens when that changes? It's all going to collapse. That's a transactional relationship. I will be with you and spend time with you and everything as long as you keep the money flowing. I don't know why anyone would ever agree to that. If you structure your relationship this way then as the money comes and goes the relationship comes and goes conscious relationships are built on the connection you still have to have enough money to support the relationship but when the money changes we'll figure it out all of these things are important in relationships but as a man you can have these and not these and she'll like you but if you have these and not these she'll only pretend to and that does not make me feel insecure it makes me feel like i walked down the wrong alleyway and no i'm not objectifying women of course not you're objectifying men your economic ability is the basis of your value gross exactly and see and here's my thing i, I found it funny that, that he mentioned um she reference cars for the women like if you're a bugatti don't be a toyota don't be a benz i found that really strange that she would do that considering women don't like us doing that to them they don't like it when men describe them as cars but the first thing she want to use is a car reference to describe the, the level of women oh and shout out the whole math man make sure y'all i think you got a youtube channel too make sure y'all subscribe to that brother's channel bro i love his content let's keep it moving you know what it takes for someone like me to go out on a date okay what is that i gotta get a babysitter for my kid okay should a nigga if pay for that yes what really? guess what now a part of me is my kids and in order to take me what out you making an investment for a relationship and so, that's why and, and i shouldn't have to pay for your child I'm not saying house? every day. I'm saying okay. No, no day. Right on. A man well, that's with me, in my opinion, yeah. they know that okay, she's a mother of two. She's holding down a business. She's holding down a house. She's commuting from Jersey to New York. All right. How much is your babysitter? No man should have to pay for no daycare just to go on a date with you. 
those are your kids. You figure out what you're going to do with them. Call the father to those kids. If you can't go on a date that day, you just can't go. He can go another day with you. But him paying for the daycare just to go on your date, and you saying that he needs to feel sorry for you because you have two kids and you just moved and you got all this business going on. You're not the only person in the world that have kids and have stuff going on. And other people figure out what to do with them. You don't come into our relationship telling him he needs to pay for this and pay for that. At this point, you looking for somebody to take the place of their daddy and take care of you and them kids. And that's not going to work. So guess what? If you think he going to pay for it, guess what? He going to go get somebody else and they going to be ready to go on that date without having to pay for them kids in that daycare. Girl, you need to have several seats because you tripping. Yo, this was kind of a thing back in 2023 where it was some girl who went viral for saying that. <laughs> Bro, let me tell you something. It's already hard enough for single moms out here in dating. If you think that y'all are going to make things any easier by requiring men to pay for <laughs> to... <laughs> I can't even get it out because it's so laughable. To pay for your babysitter. Not to mention on top of the fact that you expect me to pay for everything else too. Just keep it moving, man. As a man, there are certain things that's mandatory that you should pay for in a relationship with a woman, okay? For example, her rent. That's number one. No woman should be paying her own rent if she's in a relationship with a man, all right? Her car payment, her light bill, her groceries, absolutely. She should never pay for groceries. Her gas, her insurance, because I mean, if you're paying her car payment, you might as well pay the insurance as well. Don't you care about her safety? Yeah, pay the insurance. Shopping, okay? Your woman should never have to spend her own money to shop. I mean, what is the point of her having sex with you? For her good health? No, take her shopping. Diamonds, okay? Diamonds are a girl's best friend. So if you're in a relationship with a woman, it is mandatory that by the six month mark, you buy her some diamonds, okay? And if your girl wants surgery, pay for it. Why not? Guess who's gonna enjoy it? You. So yes, get her a new pair of jugs because you can play with them, all right? It's not for her benefit, it's for your benefit. Pay for her titties. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Y'all heard it. And these are the same group of women that are shaming passport bros and saying that they're getting involved in transactional relationships overseas. Meanwhile, this is what we have going on in the West. Sounds pretty transactional to me. And if I was a man and if, and if I had to choose between the two, I'm taking the, the lesser of the two evils and I'll go overseas because at least I know overseas, those women were raised to take care of their men and respect their men. Y'all over here sound, y'all sound so transactional over here and y'all still treat men like trash. And then y'all wonder why men are comfortable just flat out asking you for the cheeks off the rip because y'all are so comfortable talking like this online the fuck did y'all expect let me know what y'all thought about this man if you're new to the platform please subscribe oh geez i appreciate the love and support make sure y'all hit that bell notification that we all know what i'm uploading hit the like button because that's with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience also look out for the travel vlog channel unplugged traveler Link is in the description as well as my latest mixtape, Neo Trap Volume 2. And if you want to purchase any other merch, SpreadShot.com link is in the description. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.